In this video, we're going to have a look at an example of a fixed point iteration, exam question. So first of all, it says show that the equation x cubed plus 4x minus 3 can be rearranged into the form x equals 3 minus x cubed over 4. So we're trying to solve this equation here. We're looking for the roots of this equation. Now we could just use a method on our calculator, but the question specifically taking us through a numerical method. So what we're going to first do is rearrange it in that form. So we've got uh, 4x equals 3 minus x cubed, taking the 3 and the x cubed over to the other side, which implies that x equals 3 minus x cubed over 4 as requested. So in a previous video, we had a look at a method called fixed point iteration for solving simultaneous equations, one of which is y equals x, the other of which is a curve. Well, now that we've rearranged the equation into this form, we can see that's what we've got. We've got the equation y equals x on the left-hand side and y equals the equation of a curve on the right-hand side. So the fixed point iteration method is now applicable. So part b, use the iteration. So the next term, xn plus 1, equals 3 take the current term cubed over 4. It says start with x1 equals 0.5. Now my video, the first iteration I call x0, it doesn't matter if they want to start numbering them at 1, that's absolutely fine. So getting the calculator. First of all, we're going to store 0.5 in our answer button. So 0.5 equals so now tighten the right hand side in, so we've got a fraction, 3 take answer cubed over 4, and we press equals, we get the next iterate, the next term in the sequence. So x2 is 0 0.71875, x2 equals 0.71875. Then, that's now solved, uh, saved in the answer button. So if we press equals again, we get the next term, the next iterate, which is 0 0.65717. So x3 equals 0 0.61757. So that's B part one done. B part two. So what that requires us to do, it says the sketch on figure one shows parts of the graphs of y equals 3 minus x cubed over 4 and y equals x and the position of, of our initial guess, x1. On figure 1, draw a cobweb or staircase diagram to show how convergence takes place, indicating the positions of x2 and x3 on the x-axis. So, cobweb or staircase diagram really will perform the same method every time and depending on the shape of the graph, we'll either get a staircase or a cobweb form so the method is, and we discussed this on a previous video, start at our initial guess, there it is, then go up to the curve, vertically up. Once we're there, horizontally to y equals x. And there we have it. There's our next iterate, our next guess, which should be, and is, closer to the root than before. So x2. So the next step, repeat. So go down to the curve this time. So vertically to the curve, which just so happens to be down. Then I'm going to zoom in here. Then horizontally to the line y equals x. And there we have it. Our improved estimate of the answer. X3, which we should mark on the diagram as requested in the question. X3. And we'll zoom right in. And we'll keep following these steps. So, up to the curve, along to y equals x. And at this point, it gets quite messy because we zoomed in too far. So I zoom right back out again. You can see convergence, you can see this cobweb forming where we go up to the curve, 
long to white was X, down the curve, Y was X, curve, Y was X. I'm going to keep spiraling in, in the shape of a cobweb, into that solution. And that's what the question asked us to do. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.